because it's not really the flame that actually burns down your house. It's the millions of small burning sparks that are thrown maybe a mile ahead that are coming down on your house, on your vegetation, and starting small fires and then subsequently burning larger. So there's a lot of things like building materials. Another thing you can do is get to know your communities. You know, that's one thing that's a challenge because sometimes, you know, fires on top of you, we, as we hear, you can't just do something quickly, but maybe you've got a 78 year old person next door that's not mobile. And then you have a plan that if fire comes, you're going to make sure you get them out. Or maybe you've got a neighbor over there with a small child. So you make a plan with your community so that you can execute the plan when the fire happens versus trying to run around and do it at the, at the time. 